Hi Elil. Hi Shreeri. How are you doing? I'm good, Elil. What about you? I'm doing great. So what brings you here today? Azure Service Bus, uh, Elil. So help <laughs> me understand what Azure Service Bus is and uh, you know the more technical concepts on it. Mm-hmm. So let's do it in our own way, Shreeri. Let me share you uh, my screen. Here is an e-commerce applications representation right in front of you. Can you see my screen? Yeah, Elil. Yeah. So uh, in this scenario, I have a website through which my customers would submit their orders and I have a backend application called order processor, which will pick up each of the order and then process. So I want a component that can seamlessly decouple these two because I do not essentially want my website and my backend application to be online at the same point in time, isn't it? Mm -hmm, yeah. So I bring in my Azure Service Bus queue. So Azure Service Bus is an um, Azure offered cloud messaging service which can seamlessly decouple my website and the backend application and achieve a reliable messaging service. And so you have two services offered by Azure Service Bus. One is a queue which you should choose when you need an one-to-one -one communication. And in some cases, the business would demand an one-to-many communication, wherein you can choose an service bus topic, which in turn has a number of subscriptions. Is that clear, Shrihari? Yeah, LL, it's clear. Mm -hmm. um, now, can you please elaborate on Azure Service Bus queues and topics, LL? The difference mm. between them, the advantages of them? Mm, that's the uh, exact next step. Let us understand them with the help of Serverless 360. Yeah. Uh, let me take you to uh, the message processing section of Serverless 360 that can throw a bit more light on what is a service bus queue and a topic and how they are different. So as you see here is here is my listing of my queues and topics. Yeah. So I get to understand that my incoming orders queue has zero messages into it as of now. Yeah, and I'm going to send some messages to this queue using the capability in Serverless 360. You can imagine this as a uh, uh, stub of my uh, external website through which an order is being pushed and it gets compiled as a message and just pushed into the queue. Yes, so I compile a message. I'm trying to keep it simple and I send it to this queue. So the send has been successful. When I refresh, I get to see that one message in my queue. Let us explore and confirm whether that is a message that has got into this queue. I'm peeking into my queue and getting the messages. I get one message and that is exactly the message that I sent in. So what you need to understand here is I sent a message to the queue and I have successfully received it in the queue. Is that clear, yeah. Shriyari? Yeah, Ellen. Yeah, now let us get into one of my topic with a number of subscriptions. Yes, imagine a scenario here. Say I'm running an e-commerce application. So I might have to deal with multiple of my vendors, isn't it? So yeah. this send to many is one of my topic, which uh, connects an, to number of my subscribing client applications. So each of my vendor will have a client application through which we deal with um, uh, about our commissions and all. Yeah. Now I have made a change in the percentage of commission for me when I deal with a vendor. So I need this to be communicated to all of my uh, vendors. How can I do that? I compile that as a message and send it to this topic. And my intention here is that message should be sent to all of my subscribers. Is that clear? Uh, yeah, a little but uh, can you please, you know, give us a live demo on it? Yeah, sure. I'm going to do that. So to my send to many topic queue, 
I'm going to send some messages. So let me keep it simple in the as in the above scenario. I am sending a simple message, a same one message count. And as you noticed, there were two messages in the subscriptions already, and now I'm sending one. So I have successfully sent a message to this topic. Let us get into these subscriptions. We expect all messages. the subscriptions to get and one more message. And as you see here, the active message count of all the subscriptions have been increased by one. Let us get into one of my subscriptions and get the message, the top one on the list. This is the message that we just sent and it has been pushed into all the subscriptions. So this is one to many communication. Is that clear? Yeah, a little. Uh, now I uh, I got one more uh, question on my mind a little on the topics. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. uh, you just push the message to the topic and uh, each and every subscribers uh, receive that message, right? Uh, my use case is different a little. I need to send messages only to certain subscribers. Hmm. Is that possible? That's absolutely possible. This indeed would be the scenario in many of the real time businesses. Yeah, yeah, I will. Yeah. So let us consider one of our cases like I have processed orders. When my um, order processing application deals with these orders based on their status and label will be associated to each of the order messages. Yeah. Uh, so when it comes to the stage of reaching this topic, I want to clearly segregate them because from this point, the workflow is going to be different based on the status the order holds. So for which I need to segregate the orders into accepted on hold and rejected statuses. This is my scenario to achieve this. I need to filter the messages based on their label. Yes. So service bus topic subscriptions has a feature called filters. You can define a filter in which you can define what is expected criteria on this message. So in this scenario, I say sys dot label. That is I'm accessing and system property of this message, which is label and I expect it to hold the value of accepted. So only if this uh, message contains a label with a value accepted. It is going to enter this particular subscription. Similarly, on another subscription of mine, I would expect the label to hold a, a different value of on hold. So you can define filters to limit the incoming messages of specific property only. So just like the filter that I showed you, which is on the system property, you can create an SQL filter or you can create a correlation filter or an uh, uh, Boolean filter. So that would define um, restrictions on the messages, incoming messages. Let me demonstrate this to you for better understanding. Right now, as you see, there are zero messages in all of these topic subscriptions. Yep. Let me push one message into them. Yeah. So let me get into one of my queues incoming orders, which has got um, number of messages in their dead letters. And I am going to pick one of the messages from the dead letter queue, modify its label and send them to this topic. I have received the message. I'm going to modify the label to be accepted because now I decide to process this message. And I push it to this topic. This exact action could be carried out by the business application which is dealing with a message. So the message has been sent successfully. So what we expect is the message should have been pushed only to the accepted subscription of the processed orders topic. So that exactly has happened. So yeah, the filter has worked. OK, so basically you can tell the subscription like uh, allow mm. these messages and does, uh, no, do not allow these messages, right? Correct. It's a white listing. So you accept only those messages that satisfy the filter. Yeah, I got it. I got it. 
and this is one of the the best capabilities of azure service bus uh, indeed azure service bus has a number of features that would fit exactly into the real time business need and i would be glad to discuss on them in the upcoming sessions srihari sure sure ll we will discuss more on it mm -hmm. yeah and uh, thank you ll for sharing your wonderful uh, knowledge with us that's my pleasure shri hari uh, let us together explore asia more and make the best of it thank you yeah thank you ll covey.com 